How are you doing? Good, how are you? Tim Burton has said that each time he's directed you, your inspiration comes from weirder and weirder places. Where did it come <laughs> from for Willy Wonka? Um, well, uh, it came from a few different directions. You know, the inspirations for Wonka were, was like the idea of, um, I started getting the idea of children's show hosts, but um, children's show hosts like uh, on a more uh, localized level, you know, local TV show host, that kind of thing, where, yeah, a smaller budget, let's say, um, that kind of thing. Game show hosts, you know, I thought that Wonka was probably a guy who'd spent a lot of time alone, um, and uh, most of his sort of lingo or his jargon would come from television and stuff, so he would be a bit behind the times, you know, therefore some of the things he would say would be like, you know, come from something, something you know, like 20 years ago or something. Um, so yeah, he was just a kind of, uh, yeah, strange little bowl of soup, you know. Okay. Um, was there a moment when you knew you got your character and you could just go with it? Um, yeah, it comes, <clears throat> sometimes it comes early, sometimes it, you, you step in it a little bit late. Uh, with Wonka, I think I, I think I, he came kind of late. He, he sort of started rearing, rearing his ugly head uh, about a week or two before shooting, which is late. Um, and then I guess we were about a week into production when I really felt like I'd you know, clipped with something, just found him. And, uh, and from that moment on, he didn't change. You deviate a little bit in the first week, first 10 days to kind of, you know, trying things. Um, but I found him about 10 days in, I guess, yeah. Okay. Um, you're quoted as saying about Edward Scissorhands, I loved Edward, he was total honesty. I'm wondering how you feel about Wonka. I, I, I uh, Scissorhands will always have a very special place uh, in my heart, um, just because what it represents and you know what the character is and and uh, yeah, feeling that I had for that character, Wonka. Um, yeah, I do have a special place for Wonka as well. I mean, you, you know, you you get close to all of them, uh, all the characters. Wonka was a lot of fun because there is purity in Wonka. There is a guy who. Um, he puts on a he, he almost assumes a character so that he can actually speak in front of people and behind that mask behind that face there is a guy who is pure uh, and afraid and afraid of being afraid and afraid of people seeing that he's afraid so there's there are various layers to the guy that I that 90 percent of the audience won't see but I know is there you know so um, um, yeah, I, I, I do have a special feeling for Wonka. Okay, and uh, last question is, um, I know you started without a script. Was it more challenging that way or was it more liberating? Uh, it was actually more liberating in a way because of the luxury of that source material, you know, Roald Dahl's book. So it was great to be able to go into the book before there was a screenplay and, go, and just start underlining. You know, say, oh, this must be in there, you know, and this bit and that bit, and that, you know. And so using all that um, as various ingredients, you know, so that when the script did come, I was able to sit down with Tim and the writer and we went, but what about this, what about this, what about this? And we incorporated those into the story. So it was, it was yeah, it was great. It was a great process. Okay, cool. Cool. Great. Thank, is that it? Great. Well, thank you so much. Not at all.